believe it or not, you share a similarity with the rapper Ice Cube. Don't believe me? Let me break it down. In the album Raw Footage, I got my lokes on. He said this lyric, I got them carrots on, giving off them pheromones. And that's what you're doing right now. Because somebody can't get you off their brain. You're living rent-free up there. So what are we going to do about it? Well, let me tell you. We're going to do a pick-a-card right now. Let's hippity-hop right into this bitch. We got three piles to pick from. And the way it works is each pile will have one Magic the Gathering tarot card, one Yu-Gi-Oh tarot card, and one of these oracle cards. The answer is simple. To help us distinguish who they are, how you know them, potentially, and what you need to understand about the situation. And I really want you to have a firm conviction in the pile you feel connected to. Because full disclosure, one of these piles, whether it's one, two, or three, is giving off some pretty heavy vibes. So take another six seconds, figure out what pile you want to pick, one, two, or three, and we're going to flip to the damn cards. If you selected pile one with this black obsidian brooch, then your cards, starting with the magic cards, and this one actually had two. And this is the pile that was giving me some somewhat sketchy vibes. So we have first card, Falkenroth Marauders. This is the Five of Swords. It says, no slinking in the dark for them, no luring whispers. They claim their prey in the speed and glory of the hunt. Okay, this is someone who is narcissistic, possibly two people. For whatever reason, they get some kind of pleasure out of your discomfort. Because, let's see what this other card is. Bump in the Night. This is the Nine of Swords. And Bump in the Night, this Nine of Swords generally depicts fear, insomnia, anxieties. But staying up at night on things that is just your mind making something small into something uh, larger. And it's not actually an issue. But the quote is, it's not just the wind. It's not all in your head. And it's definitely something to worry about. This is giving me some sketchy vibes. So whoever is thinking about you right now, and honestly, it could even be something in the spiritual world, some kind of enemy, some kind of low vibrational spirit, ghost because we see like these energy vampires here who don't care for your well-being and the shadowy figure here and i'm not trying to scare you you don't need to be scared but what you do need to know is there's some kind of low vibrational shadowy energy or narcissistic toxic person or a group of people who are thinking about you right now and their intentions are ill it could be to manipulate you take advantage of you Something of the of the that kind of nature. And let's see what we have here. The Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, this represents the devil, the shadow side, this thousand eyes idol, a wicked entity that controls the hearts of men. Its thousand eyes are able to see and expand the negative influences in an individual soul. This is someone who is going to try and gaslight you, manipulate you, who are going to go through all of your different social media to try and pick up clues, anything like that to get some kind of advantage. Definitely get an evil eye. Definitely protect yourself. Whoever this person or group of people is that are thinking about you haven't stopped their pursuit. And I don't, it's probably because your light shines very bright. Yeah. Don't even look at them. Don't even look them at the eye. Walk away. Don't give them the time of day. Don't listen to them. Don't don't engage in any single way. If you know who this possibly is, just do not engage. Completely ignore, block, Get additional help if you need to. If you selected the second pile with this emerald brooch, then your cards, starting with the Magic of the Gathering card, this is who they possibly might be. We have Diligent Farmhand. This is the Seven of Pentacles, but based on the imagery, what it looks like to me is some masculine who literally could be a farmer, but someone who works hard and could either be at work or just got off work 
and they're contemplating, you know, where do they go from here? They might be waiting for a ride or they're on break, but this is a hardworking masculine. This could be someone that you are in a relationship with already or previously in a relationship with, and they're contemplating kind of, should I stay or should I go? You know, is this worth it? Is it not worth it? Is our Yu-Gi-Oh card to add some clarification on how you might recognize them. This is dark burning magic, but this is actually the lover's card because you can see the dark magician girl and dark magician both working together to overcome whatever it is that is negatively impacting what's going on around them. So this could be a husband or it doesn't have to be male. It could just be a masculine who you have gone through some challenging things together. You might have some trauma bonding, but this could be uh, a partner you currently have or have had in the past. And they're just really contemplating, you know, maybe what went wrong, your time together and thinking about the relationship, you know, and let's see what kind of information we have about it. It says, connect with your soul family. Okay, so this is someone who is definitely plays a big role in your life on earth. This could be a father figure even. This could be, like I said, a husband, a boyfriend, um, um, the masculine partner that you either are in a relationship with now or you were, and that you guys are have worked together to overcome something and have a strong kind of soul connection in some way, some kind of bond, some energetic tethering, because they are part of your soul family you know and your soul family extends past just your earthly realm family they know that your connection is strong some way or another they they have that information and they're thinking about you but it, it seems to be positive overall honestly if you selected pile three and this carnelian brooch then the person who's thinking about you right now is this tribute mage so this is representative of a feminine magician. And what I see here with the sword, to me, what the sword represents is trying to, because she's studying it with this magnifying glass, trying to establish the best form of communication to, to talk to you with. And with tribute mates, it's like they want to offer something. They want to figure out the best way to communicate something that's offer-based. Um, that's something that that's tangible because swords represent communication, but as a tribute mage, it's like they want to offer you, they want to give you something, some kind of invitation, some kind of conversation. And this is a, a feminine energy. So this could be a potential suitor as, as what it really, what it feels like. And let's see what card to clarify how you may know them. This is Herald of Creation. This is the high priest. So you might know this person through church, through work through school, because this is about tradition, doing things the classic, traditional, normal way. They also, their intentions with you may be to pursue you in a romantic way that is in a traditional kind of pr a progression, you know, like do things the right way, be chivalrous, ask for permission for marriage kind of thing. It's wanting to take you out on a, on a date and wine and dine and be polite and and follow all those rules of etiquette and kind of do things the the old school American dream classic Americana potential relationship because I don't think this is someone you're in a relationship now I think this is someone who wants to be in a relationship with you and they could be feminine they could be masculine it seems like they are most likely feminine but they have a lot of masculine energy and let's see what we have here the message to get some more info on them is put others first yeah, so it seems like they they might want to take you out to some kind of event, some kind of, this shows like a circus. They might want to take you to some kind of sporting event or some kind of arcade. They want to go on a date and they really want to, like I said, with this like high priestess traditional kind of approach, they want to show how much that you mean to them or how much you can mean to them and how they are a provider and how they are a nurturer and how they can be a good time and have fun and they really want to show that side of themselves so this is a potential suitor it looks like they have great intentions